Good afternoon, guys. It's working, bringing you a quick update on EOS. Hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Uh, we're looking at EOS to the US dollar. This is the one day chart on Bitfinex. And of course, EOS made this terribly bullish, uh, bearish move, guys. Came down, found support right here. I am counting, uh, I'm looking at two trend lines here. Um, I believe this one here, price came down, found support where these two trend lines kind of intersected. Um, and then moved sideways, fell below this trend line here but still maintain support on this trend line here yesterday. Now it did break down, but it wicked right back up. So the body stayed above this trend. Today we've got this daily candle is broken below this trend line. Doesn't mean we've still got a few hours left in the day. So it doesn't mean it can end up closing above, but if it does close below, close below this trend line, again, I think that's gonna be a very, very bearish indication guys. And more than likely, I think that price is gonna end up coming down um, and hitting this, at least this 473 to 467 zone, in my opinion. If this candle closes above, Yesterday's open, so it would be about above point uh, at least uh, 5.16. If it does close above 5.16, guys, then I'm going to start to. That'd be a more neutral indication. If we can, if we can obviously close above yesterday's candle, that'd be the uh, the the most bullish scenario in this case. And of course, we want to be above this um, uh, trend line right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, now this this is we can see this 535 uh, 45 zone here um, is going to act as a strong uh, resistance area. Price came up here, whipped right back down. Um, so I would again like to see price coming here, start moving sideways, possibly in that resistance. If it can do that and starts following this trend line here, um, I think there's a very very good possibility we're going to get a bounce come up into this zone here between 560 and 580. Um, for now though, guys, until we get one more wave down, I don't see us coming any higher than 560, 580. I do think that would be a retracement and then a possible one more wave down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I am I am looking at this as one more wave down, guys, because there's only a few ways you can count this. If we look, if we put our Elliot's hat on, Elliot hats on, and we start looking at this from an Elliot perspective, you know, what do we got? Um, well, the most bullish count has this, and let's just stick with that for now. Most bullish count has this as an A, B, and down for the C. Well, if that's the case, we've got our ABC. We know our C wave has to have five waves. <clears throat> so what do we got? I can count, I, if I count this, uh, actually, if I bring my B right here, that'd be the most bullish. So if I count this as my one, two, all of this is my three, four. We've still got one more wave down for the fifth. Now that fifth can be shortened and EOS is known for shortened fifth as well. It's actually known for two different things. And then either extremely elongated fifth or a very shortened fifth. Very rarely do you get a very technical fifth. It's very bizarre with EOS. So, okay, so hopefully we'd hope for a very shortened fifth here. If that's the case, you know, possibly even shortening out here at this 473 zone here, 450, 428. Um, I've gotten buy orders, and I'm not saying it's ever going to get down here, but I do have buy orders, and that, that was from our prior low when price was coming down here. I stacked buy orders between, <clears throat> excuse me, $4 and, and uh, 3.50. I've still got those buy orders sitting there waiting to get filled, guys, and if price ever does get down there, I'm going to buy that all day long. That'd be a must-buy in my opinion. But again, in the short term, guys, um, you know, I know a lot of people are starting to accumulate now, and it's not a bad idea to dollar cost average in. I'm not saying don't do that. In fact, you know, obviously this isn't financial advice. You do whatever you want. <clears throat> but uh, but I do think there's probability wise, I do think there is uh, at least one more wave down. Um, so I do think there will be better opportunities here going forward. Um, and if, like I said, if, if it doesn't mean there has to be, it just means probability wise, I think that's a highly likely scenario. If we look at this um, from um, a, a bearish point of view, and if I, if I told you guys this before, a, the most bearish point of view would have this as five waves down and this here as an ABC correction. So we'd be looking at an A, B, and C. You know, clearly that'd be the most bullish scenario. And then we'd be starting what? We'd be starting five waves down. If that's the case, <clears throat> we do have, we can make a case for that, guys, unfortunately. And it doesn't, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't take any pleasure in saying this. I'm a, I'm a bullet heart. Um, I, I hate shorting the market. I'll do it, but I don't like it. But I'm a bullet heart, guys. But we, we do, this, this was a technical move. Um, as impulsive as it looks and as just as random and, you know, just like everyone dumped, it did end up bouncing in a very technical area. And I'll show you. <clears throat> if we go from the top here, pull our FIB extension. You know, where, let me get right to the bottom there. There we go. Where did this thing hit? We pull our FIB extension, we go, of course, um, from our, what would be our, our, uh, I'm going to just draw it out here for you. What would be our wave one, two, and then down for the three, right? So if we pull our FIB extension, this would be our third wave. Where'd that hit? I mean, it hit perfectly, perfectly. Couldn't have hit any more perfect off the three, six, one, eight. So a very elongated third, but it did hit on a perfectly, a perfect technical level, guys. So it tells me that we are getting some structure in the market going down. Um, and again, that would support theory that we might be in one, two, three, four, and five waves down. Now, 
that five waves down could be looked at as all A. If I take this out and I count, instead of this being an ABC, if we count this as five waves up and this being our ABC, I could count all of this as, an, as our A wave and then up for the B and then back down for the C. That's a possibility, but we're, this is such a deep retracement at this point, guys. If we go swing low, swing high, let's see, what do we got? Yeah, if we go swing low, swing high, we're already well below the, uh, the, the uh, golden pocket, well below the 6.8 fib. We're approaching the 7.86. Um, now, we could just get a, a very, very shortened fifth, bounce off the 7.86. More than likely, I think it's going to come down and hit off the 8.865, possibly. That coincides nicely with this 450 support. <clears throat> that wouldn't be a bad area to stack buy orders in as well. Um, I do think we're going to find some support here off this uh, 4.73. Now, I don't know if that's going to hold. It might just be a temporary bounce and then right back down to complete this uh, 450. But in any case, guys, right now the market is favoring um, another wave down, even though in the short term we might get a small little bounce. We pull in here and look at our indicators. We can see on the four hour it's still it's sitting right at oversold at about 30, somewhere thereabouts, guys. Um, so again, could kind of go either way. <clears throat> if we look at our, uh, uh, if we pull out here to the daily, look at our daily MACD. Daily MACD is just now crossing over into bearish territory. So once again, kind of a bearish outlook. Uh, look at that. If we come over here, we look at our moving averages. Uh, we can see our moving averages, of course, just crushed ball below um, every single one of them. Um, our our 250-day moving average, as well as our 821 and 55-day um, exponential moving average. We're also seeing the eight-day EMA. Uh, cross down below this 21 day EMA, which is a, again a, a very bearish sign um, of weakness. And we did have this one candle here on the daily yesterday that was kind of giving me hope that we might be seeing bottom, which did look kind of a, a, uh, a hammer, which is a uh, typically a reversal. Now, I'd like to see a much stronger wick um, for this to actually qualify as a hammer, so I'm not sure that it does. Um, however, that is, it did look like a possible reversal candle there, guys, but we're just not seeing the follow through today. Now, again, today isn't over yet. If we do get this bounce and price does end up closing, especially if it closes above yesterday's uh, candle, if we get a green candle that closes today, that's going to be extremely bullish. And then, and then I'm going to think that maybe in the short term uh, we might start trending up. Um, but, again, guys, it, it's, just not, it's just not looking like that's going to happen at this point. Zooming out here to the weekly chart, guys. Um, I want to point out one thing. This 496 is a very is a very relevant support. Um, now, I'm not saying that price can't break below it. We can see though every single time uh, for the last four months, or excuse me, the last four weeks, um, not counting this weekly candle here. So this would be week five um, that the body of the candle closed at or um, right at actually right at this 496 support. Call it some. Of, I think this one was 495. Um, actually, but you know, right around this 496 support, is, uh, the body of these candles on the weekly have closed every single time. If this weekly candle ends up closing below this 496 uh, support, now again, we've already whipped below it. The wicking below it's fine. I, I don't have a problem with that. We can see that it did here. We can see that it did here. We can see that it did here. Um, although it looks like now that we're starting to create um, a, a lower low. Um, we had a series of higher lows here. Now we've got a, a lower low from the prior weekly, but still, as long as this weekly candle closes at or above this 496, I will have hope. If this, if the body of this weekly candle closes below 496, guys, I think there's a very good possibility that we're gonna that this, this uh, bull trend or excuse me bear trend is gonna continue. And at that point, I do I do think that this at least 450 is going to be um, in the cards, possibly as low as 428, possibly as low as four dollars. And we'll have to wait. We'll have to get some structure in the market uh, to wait and see how that ends up playing out before I start making those calls. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it there, guys. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. As always, guys, I certainly would appreciate an upvote or a resteam or a like, depending on where you're viewing this. Until next time, guys, please trade safe. Take care of yourselves. This is Working. Signing out.